The UNSC Gun Goose is the latest full-scale vehicle from Jazzware with their brand new World of Halo line. And it is full of colors, details, and a beautiful action figure to come with it. We're gonna crack it open today and take a closer look at what is soon to be a very iconic vehicle of Halo Infinite. Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. All of today's footage once again was provided by Halo Collector. They are the number one community on the internet for collecting Halo and they're just showing off all of these different figures on the back of the packaging. Jazzware really is crushing it with the World of Halo scale. And previously on this channel, we've showcased the UNSC Mantis, a monster of a set, followed by the Banished Shade Turret, something that I've been waiting to get my hands on for a long, long time. Both of those vehicles, just exceptional with the level of detail, way more than most toy companies. So let's break this Spartan Selox out of his packaging and see what we have in store. The box is all UNSC green with a beautiful terrain in the background looking very much like Ragnarok. And then we pull that figure out. The vehicle in this case is actually pre-built inside. And this figure, let me tell you, there are so many paint apps on this character. I don't actually remember the last time I've seen so many. So you can be sure that your gun goose is well equipped with this Spartan. And again, yeah, this is called the Spartan Selox. I mean, clearly he's a scout Spartan, a little bit of a hybrid between Halo 3 and Halo 4, 5. Then look at these paint apps. Even on the back of the legs there, we've got blues, silvers, whites, some dry brushing on the top of his armor and we'll get him out of his packaging in a little bit. First, we're gonna take a look at this Gun Goose. And yes, pre-built, I mean, why not? It is just one piece. I would like to see this compared right next to the Mongoose that released last year with the Master Chief, and they look almost identical. Obviously, the Gun Goose feature. I, I never really used the Gun Goose in Halo 5. I always thought it was quite weak and Halo 2 Anniversary, but I'm definitely looking forward to how they balance it further in Halo Infinite. This thing, beautiful. Those paint apps, the UNSC on the front, and then the different military symbols around the back and sides. We've got a red handle on the back. We've got a, a few different colors like everywhere. I'm trying to even soak it all in. We've got brown and silver etching across the vehicle like battle damage, mud damage. It is actually really, really detailed. And I would say more detailed than the old McFarlane Mongoose. You can even see some extra paint apps on the handlebar on the back. You can see how this is definitely designed to hold a second Spartan on the back. It's got footholds and everything. And then on the bottom, obviously, the base is, is unfeatured, undetailed, but it is a really gorgeous print. It may just be me, but when you look at all the holes that run through it, especially at the front, it feels like a very 3D vehicle. Then some pretty good suspension showed off from the wheels there, even slightly on the back. It's all movable, it's all very flexible, so you can position your Spartan exactly how you want. And speaking of that Spartan, we've got the Spartan Selox. Again, don't really know why they're changing the name. We've got the battle rifle there looking really, really exceptional. Black and dark gray detailing there. I don't know why they've changed the name to Selox. I just want my names to be simple, to recognize the past. This is clearly a scout. Though some people have said a scout armor will be different from this one. Selox might be the different attachments you can have on your Spartan. I really like the green added to his shoulders there. And it's hard to see on the camera, but there is a lot of silver dry brushing all over this figure. Yeah, it's, it's pretty awesome. It looks a little bit skinny to me, but in general, we also have a knife on the side, which is something that I never picked up on when I saw the original packaging. A bronze visor and even a nice dark gray top to his helmet. This is, I mean, look at it, guys. There is like six different colors on this Spartan, holds his battle rifle nicely, and he's ready to take out some Banished on his Gun Goose. What an exceptional set from Jazzware Toys. I've said it a million times, I'll say it again. I'm just so excited to see the progress that this company is going to make leading into Halo Infinite. 
The multiplayer flight was just the perfect example of the direction Halo Infinite is going. With Halo Infinite being free to play, I hope that the audience for these toys will skyrocket, Jazzware will get a lot of funding, and then we'll see full-scale pelicans, phantoms, banshees, whatever you name. It's a possibility now. Just in this one wave, we've received a gun goose, a shade turret, and the colossal mantis. So I am really backing Jazzwares Corner. I think they're gonna come out on top in the next year. And just let me know, guys, if this is the kind of video you want to see in the future. Have you picked up any of these vehicles yet, or are you still on the search? I know that when I get to America, I'm gonna be picking up quite a few of these myself and they are just showed off so perfectly by Kevin Hurd at Halo Collector. I want to thank him again for all the footage today. Halo Collector's Facebook group is the number one place to talk Halo collecting on the internet, and this has been a three-parter where we've reviewed the Mantis, Shade Turret, and Gun Goose. It's been an absolute blast, and I thank you, Kevin, for all the footage. Check out Halo Collector right now on Facebook.com.